Good morning children. Today we are starting the new topic chance and probability. There are situations in our life that are certain to happen. Some which are impossible and some that may or may not happen. The situation that may or may not happen has a chance of happening. Probability is the chance of occurrence of an event. It tells us about the likelihood of the occurrence or non-occurrence of an event. For example, we come across statements like Probably it will rain today. That means we are not sure. Most probably India will win the match. This is also we are not sure about it. Rahul may stand first in the class. This is also we are not at all sure that he will come first. Events that may have possibilities can have probability between 0 and 1. That means these are not sure events. Here there are chances that it may happen or may not. So their probability lies between 0 and 1. Now let's talk about events which are impossible. The sun coming up from west. This is an impossible event. And growing to a height of 3 meter. This is also an impossible event. These events which are impossible, their probability is 0. And the next type of events are where probability is 1, they are sure events. For example, the sun rises from the east. There are six faces in a cube. Events that are bound to happen, they have probability 1. Probability of an event can be calculated by dividing the number of desired outcomes by the total number of possible outcomes. That means outcomes that is results. So probability formula is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. For example, probability of getting ahead when a coin is tossed. Then what will be the probability? Favorable outcome is 1 because we want heads only up. So favorable outcome that means the result which we want that is one only and total outcomes total outcomes that means when we toss a coin then there is chance that heads can come up or tails can be up. So total outcomes are two that means heads or tails. So probability of getting a head is favorable outcomes it is one. And total outcomes it is 2. So 1 by 2 is the probability. Let's begin exercise 16D question number 2. Find the probability of choosing a vowel from English alphabet. Now we know this that letters in English alphabet they are 26 letters and number of vowels they are 5 vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Now let's calculate probability. What is the formula? It is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. Number of favorable outcomes that means number of vowels. They are 5. And total number of outcomes they are 26 because there are 26 letters. So probability is 5 upon 26. Let's begin question number 4. If one letter is chosen at random. From the word mathematics, find the probability of choosing first M alphabet. Now formula for probability is number of favorable outcomes upon total outcomes. Favorable outcomes that means what we want in the answer. We want M alphabet and it is repeating two times. So favorable outcomes it is two. Total outcomes let's see how many letters are there total. 11 letters are there. So, answer is 2 by 11. Similarly, part B, we have to find the probability of choosing A alphabet. Now, probability, again, favorable outcomes upon total outcomes. Favorable, A is also repeating here two times. And total letters in mathematics, 11. So, answer is 2 by 11. 